in Sequatchie, Tennessee for the Tennessee Knockout TKO. Saturday afternoon, we're about to start the pro qualifier, basically just a quick prologue. Uh, top 16 times go in tonight's bracket style race. There's cash on the line, so hopefully uh, get top 16, make my way through the bracket, make a little money, and it goes into tomorrow's, I guess, initial qualifier for TKO round one. So I went back at the TKO. I actually wasn't planning on racing this year, but a few weeks ago, it sounded like there'd be an extra bike laying around, so I couldn't pass up that opportunity the team gave me to uh, ride enduro again. But that does mean I haven't been riding much lately, so I'm not expecting much here. Just wanna have some fun, and so far so good. Prologue went pretty well, I ended up 10th, and didn't have any uh, anything major happen, so that was nice. That did put me into the straight rhythm race, which I didn't necessarily want to do, but it is a cool experience having the crowd all around and being head-to-head. -head. I was able to advance past Jordan Ashburn, which is pretty cool. We had a really tight battle, and then the second race, I knew I didn't have a chance against Tristan, but still cool to be out there in front of the crowd, and really looking forward to tomorrow, where the real hard enduro begins. <laughs>
That was so smooth. first two knockout races went well enough for me. The first one had quite a bit of fast stuff and a few technical sections thrown in. They were just enough slow spots that I was able to finish 11th, I believe. And I tried to keep it pretty, pretty mellow on the fast stuff because I didn't, didn't feel all that comfortable, but it put me on the first row for the second knockout, but had some stiff competition in that. Luckily, I was able to get into third even after messing up the start real bad. But I got into third and just kind of settled in, rode my own pace. and. Got going pretty slow towards the end. There was some really tough stuff that physically I was pretty exhausted and it was getting pretty hot as you were going slow, so had to work my way through some of the harder sections pretty slowly, but I think a lot of guys were struggling through that. So I was able to uh, finish third on my row, which pushed me in the main. Not feeling too great going to the main. Used a lot of energy on that one, but going to see what I can do and hopefully just uh, ride my own race and finish at my own pace and have some fun. This year, definitely an improvement from last year. I uh, probably shouldn't have raced last year's TKO, but I felt really good all weekend. Had a great time with the straight rhythm, and we swapped out to our enduro cross suspension, so kind of let me charge stuff harder. I felt really good, but it was kind of unfortunate with the bracket to get, a, get up against Billy, so I think I got knocked out sooner than I should have, speed-wise, and then, you know, the prologue went really well. Took off first race of the day, and I think I was fifth again, so. Not too bad at all, a lot better than last year. And then got out to a decent start in the TKO2. Really enjoyed myself in that race. I had a really good course today for two TKO2 and got through all the hard stuff and kind of just kept on trucking along and got the win in that. So put me on the front row for the final and 
got an okay start and then just kind of made a pass on Alfredo and Manny got back by me after he made a mistake and just kept pushing the best I could and you know I was just happy that I didn't really let down and you know I lost a little bit of time to those guys by the finish and really only had one major mistake obviously a bunch of small ones it's hard to be perfect but really content with the weekend well I survived the main and I did almost about as good as I really could ask for I tried to just ride smart and pace myself knowing that I couldn't push as much as those guys do all the way to the end I did feel pretty decent on the hard stuff I tried to take it easy beforehand to be able to get through the hard stuff without too many mistakes I did have one big one on the hill climb I didn't make it and had to hit the fail trail just one lap and I ended up going back and forth with uh, Alfredo Gomez early on and then about halfway through he kept the same pace or picked it up and I slowed down and just tried to make sure I could finish somewhat strong so lost a few positions but overall got to be happy with that given my preparation. I ended up finishing 10th and beat some guys that I didn't expect to. The crowd was awesome as well. Hearing them yell my name definitely gave me some motivation to try to ride my best. Got to thank the whole Factory One Sherco team for giving me this opportunity once again. This wasn't in the plans but glad I did it. Weekend went great. Um, Saturday qualifying not so good, didn't make the hill climb, um, but qualified 19th going into, going into Sunday. Um, great first race, great second race. Um, ended up, I think, 14th in the, in the uh, second race of the day. Went on to the main race, um, ended up 13th for the weekend, so I'm stoked.